Hi, I'm Rick and welcome back to The Journey. And today we are in Budapest, Budapest. However the hell you pronounce it, it's exactly where we are. And what we're gonna do is just walk, explore. We have really no idea where we're going or what we're gonna do, which is gonna make this all the more fun. You want a fairy tale? You come to Budapest. You ready to go? I think I am. Maybe I need to find more coffee to start. Or a beer, it's only 10 a.m. Okay, let's get a little housekeeping out of the way. We are here in Budapest, and for the record, I'm just gonna put a T at the end of it. We are in Budapest because we are on our way to Turkey. And it was much cheaper to stop in Budapest. And we're like, well, let's just spend a few days. So we've actually got four nights, three, four nights, three days here. And I'm glad we did. I actually kind of wish we stayed a little longer. It is, I mean, it is a beautiful city. It is absolutely a beautiful city, and I'm going to enjoy this tremendously. You ever wondered how Budapest got its name? Well, all of that on the other side of the Danube, that's Buddha. Everything over here on this side is past. Now, there was another, I believe, smaller city called Old Buddha, but we're going to leave them out of the equation for now. So, Budapest. That's how it got its name. I think it's kind of cool. Kind of makes you think uh if you got two cities on both sides of the mississippi it would be i can't even think of two right now that would have been a really good joke if i had just prepared a little better apparently we found ourselves in some kind of shopping food market i think there's a market 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 somewhere down here we saw a youtuber that suggested you come down that's a really great market they also suggested that you don't eat there because it's expensive however she wants to eat there so that's where we're going i think i'm just following oh oh i see it oh it's a cooling station it's not cooling at the moment anytime you can start cooling Dun, 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 dun. Just waiting for the cooling. Apparently we don't get cool. Okay, things have been clarified. She does not want to eat in the market. That's the target. We're going to be somewhere in all of this and find a place to eat. I'm thinking the big bars are a, a hint. Oh, Nikki's going in anyway. He's locked. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this is a giveaway. They just leave things like oh, it's just that's it's right. Just it's just somebody put it there. Back on the hunt for food. I don't know what the name of this street is. If anybody does, stick it in the comments. Otherwise, I'll try to remember to look it up later. It is a very neat little strip. I think it'd be really, really cool at night. But, oh, they have these things everywhere. They're called chimney cakes. We have yet to try one. It, I swore off sweets, but then when you find a new sweet, you got to enjoy the sweet, right? I lost my girlfriend. Where did she go? How in the hell can I lose a Nikki? She was just beside me. I mean, honest. Oh, no, she's waving. I see a hand over there. <laughs> there she is. I found her. Open as a question. I don't see anybody here. They have a cow. I mean, if you have a cow, you should be open. Uh, no? Yes? Yes! Yay! We have an open place. Which we will have eaten, but maybe we could dessert there. Dessert there is good. Yay! So no dessert. We need to find, oh look, an entire section of gin and tonics. No, ooh, they have tequilas. Went wrong country again. Focus, Rick, focus, focus, focus. Uh, I tell you what, the rest of you guys, you'll be just be surprised. This is a big red letter day. Nierka Espinola likes something with a pickle in it. Pickled vegetables. <gasps> You know, I think this is one of the seven signs of the apocalypse. 
She is actually eating pickles. Me, however, I have a vegetarian dish. This is a Hungarian vegetable stew with sausage. It's hungry. What do you want? Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's like Mark Wiens. Oh, so good, so good. <laughs> that is, that's, that's the best vegetarian sausage stew I've had. I like it. Oh, she's dipping in, going in. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, nicer, nicer. Mm. It's good. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. <laughs> I must explain. There is a pepper in here I was not expecting. It is the hottest freaking thing I put in my mouth in a long time. Excellent, by the way. I mean, it was... I just wasn't expecting it. But the flavors in Hungarian food, her meat and her sausage and that mustard and everything is... Oh, my Lord. I think I've discovered a... Yeah, we may actually have to stay here in Hungary just to eat. Oh, it's so good. So good. Oh, my goodness. That was seriously tasty. It was uh, $60 U.S. for two short meals, two beers, one gin and tonic. Yes, expensive, but oh, my God, it was so flipping good. Uh, all right, so we have late breaking news. You know, Nikki and I have discussed this at lunch. And we've come to the conclusion that we like Budapest. This is such a cool city. I mean, we haven't even been here 24 hours and we're just like, we like it. We love this place. I mean, just cause she gets to go shopping and all, but it is truly an incredibly wonderful city. I'm gonna love the next few days. I definitely am gonna wanna come back here. And so now I believe we are in search of the market. The big market. We have decided that even though it's expensive, we're going to try to find, she told me the name of it, a, a dessert. We're, there's a specific dessert thingy we're going to try to find way down there. And apparently we found it. This is the market, the big, it's not like Safeway. I have a feeling this is going to be quite the interesting place. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, no. no scooters, no smoking, no dogs. We're okay. Holy moly, would you look at this place. <laughs> this, oh, it goes on frickin' forever. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun. What'd you find, baby? Cheese? Cheese? Gin rum, whiskey, opium. You can get opium. I don't think that's what I think it is. I honestly have no idea where to focus my eyes. Everything is just so grand, so incredible, colorful. It's, oh, look, it's the paprika store. Every kind of paprika you could possibly want. Oh, I'm going to spend all day in here. This is nice. And look, they have paprika. You think we're in Hungary or something. Ooh, we're getting into the meat section. I know I just lost Nikki, but oh, I have no idea what that is. But oh, I want some. Where Nikki go? There she is. She's exploring meats as well. We have oh my lordy, my non-vegetarian is just going off the deep end chickens look without hormones yes that's what a real chicken looks like without hormones it's normal so although that oh what the hell that thing is more meat i am in meat heaven i only wish i had a way of cooking it all i apologize deeply to all of you vegetarians but you're looking at the guy who ordered a summer 
vegetarian stew with pork in it. So. Chicharrones? Chicharrones. Although I'm sure they call it something different. Healthy food. Indeed it is. Well, apparently we have an upstairs. Let's find out what is up. Well, I can tell you with some certainty that air conditioning is not up. It's a little on the warm side over here. Oh, this is completely different. It is seriously cramped up here. What are those? It's a little leather. For like for money, coin purses? Oh, what Or like you can put your iPods in it. Interesting. Oh, they have maximized space for selling and minimized for humans. Goulash, fish soup, stuffed cabbage, chicken, paprika. Oh, we have found restaurant row. My God, can you see the packed people down there? What the heck is that thing? That's a mon that mongoose thing that you can put whatever you want on. Oh, that's the mongoose thing? Oh, mongoose. Oh, that's what you wanted for dessert? Holy crap, that's big. Oh, no, apparently we're going into the crowd. Okay, this, I'm going to mispronounce it. Nikki called it a mongoose. It's a, a bread thing, and you get to pick your toppings that you put on it. I think that's what those people over there had. That's what she wanted for dessert. Langos. I don't know where I get mongoose. I don't know where we got mongoose. It's called langos. Oh, I see. You just... Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't matter that we've already had lunch. We're going to have some... Oh, here's more. Oh, my God. Look at these things. We'll see you there. Homemade langos. Flatbread. And then you just pick whatever you want to put on there. You can do a dessert one. Oh, I love it. They have absolutely everything that they sell out for display. I I would probably kill one or two of you all for some of these things. That's all I can do not to pick at the fake food. I cannot begin to tell you how difficult it is to thread my six foot two body through this crowd. It is. You want one of the dried fruit. Well, it's cozy. Oh, goody. Look, we have more food. How in the world do you not just want to eat all of this? Oh, my goodness. We have a winner. Everybody's excited. Oh, it's just, it's not fair. It's absolutely not fair. I want to eat everything. Oh, thank God. We're out of the restaurant section. Because I was about to gain 100 pounds. I don't even know what it costs. I don't care. I'll get a fourth job. All right. Back to souvenirs. Stuff I don't care about. Moist people rubbing against me or... Did I say moist? Is that a word that triggers you? Moist? Well, there's moist people who keep rubbing up against you here. Oh, we found a stairwell out. Maybe. After we get past all the young'uns who don't know how to unblock a stairwell. Oh, thank God. Oh, God, I'm such a grumpy old man, aren't I? I think the part that strikes me most unique about this town is everywhere you look. I mean, every single frickin' building that you look at is ornate. It's not designed for efficiency. They were designed for beauty. Well, we've hung out in Buddha for a while. Let's go hang out in Pest and see what's over on that side. No, wait a minute. We are in Pest. We're going to Buddha. It's very confusing. It is really cool that you can touch the infrastructure of a bridge. I've never walked across a bridge where it was so close and personal. It is really interesting. And really shaky when that thing went by. I mean, you can see where the structures come up through whatever the hell we're standing on. It's 
pretty neat. Okay, yeah, I'm an engineering nerd. What can I say? Get to see the bridge from this side. I'm thinking this is not the main entrance. It looks like trash storage. The shame. I mean, look at all of this great ironwork, stonework. If this is where they keep their trash, I can't wait to see where they keep their treasure. These two look like they belong on a chessboard. Oh, I don't know what this is. Museum? It's the Schlegliste Museum. God, I wish I had a Hungarian friend. What do we got? Oh, this is a church? Never been to a Catholic church in a cave. I'm probably going to be speaking very quietly here, by the way, so you might want to turn your volume up for this next segment. Oh, this is a trip. Here we go. Made by sculptor Laszlo Martin during the communist dictatorship. Well, that was kind of interesting. They had me up until the last part. The video was more of a a recruiting video rather than historical. Cool church, but you know, when you get to the end, then they just, it, it was okay. Just not the last one. Apparently, I ordered something tropical. <laughs> Try that. got a little bit of tang to it. So we're on our way to Castle Hill. What's up there? Maybe a castle, maybe a hill. I honestly don't know, but despite my being hydrated, and yes, I have been hydrating, ha, ah, it is a hot day. And I keep looking on maps thinking that one of these little connections might actually get me to... Oh, there's no shortcuts. If you want to get to Castle Hill, you got to take the one true path, apparently. According to our fine friends at Google, we have to go up. Apparently that's Castle Hill up there. Why is it always up? Okay, we are more up. We have more up. Maybe I'll throw myself in front of this taxi first and now miss that opportunity. Okay, so far, I don't know where we're going or what we're gonna find, but it's awful pretty. Lots of stones and what you can't smell are all the dried leaves that have fallen. It smells, it smells like fall. It feels like summer, it smells like fall. I think I have to go in and up and there's like a, there's something up there. I don't know. We'll. Oh my Lord, did the steps never end. We made it, but give me a minute. I'm living in some kind of Escher-like world where everything is continually up. You're going to like this, but I need a minute. Okay, are you ready for this? This is... Oh, this is going to be an interesting explore. 
I don't even know where to begin because I don't know what's up here. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. It's almost worth the whole passing out thing. It just keeps going. I truly wish I had taken the time to figure out where the hell I am. I was pulling up Google Maps and it just said Lambrinth on it. I'm like, cool, Lambrinth. Then it said Castle Hill, even better. That was the extent, I started walking. Oh look, Salvation, they have a sign. We can figure out where the hell we are. Buddha Castle District. Oh, this thing's bigger than I thought. We're obviously in here, because that's the big castle. Do you see the roofs of this building? The roof, roofs, roof eye, roof almost? It's not what you'd expect. It is so ornate and so colorful. It's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like nothing, like no other church or cathedral or anything I've seen before. Just gonna walk along these not quite paved streets and figure out where everything takes me. If you don't know where you're going, then you're gonna be pleasantly surprised whenever you get somewhere. I swear this looks like something out of Disney, but it's absolutely real. Another building with a cool painted roof. I don't know what it is yet. Tell me what you are. Give up your secrets. Heritage of a Nation Landmarks of Hungarian History. It's a museum. That does not apparently have opening hours today. Apparently it's some kind of old walled city and I apologize deeply if you're from Hungary and you have to listen to my drivel. I don't know what this is, but it is so cool up here. And I wish I had more energy to explore it, but it has been a very, very long day. And I am tired, really tired. I mean, not just tired, hey, Rick's tired. I mean, I'm really tired. So until next time, be healthy, be happy, and we'll see you soon. I'm gonna go get some more water. I got a 45 minute walk ahead of me. Ah. <sighs>